guys um i just discovered something i don't know if somebody already know this but i'm just so excited to share it to you um i got my embroidery machine and i started checking out some designs at etsy for the embroidery designs but it's kind of getting too expensive getting the machine itself is already expensive and you're gonna buy your designs isn't that like ah? Uh, that's a lot of money already so I've been trying to work things with my um, Singer Futura software and my Adobe my Adobe is my Adobe Photoshop is element 6.0 I know it's old but this is the one that I've used to and I haven't I haven't had I don't know I haven't had time maybe to purchase the new one because I know the the because this is really old. I've been using this since like 2008 and it's already 2015 now because the photoshops, the the newer ones are not as user friendly. So this is my um, photoshop. So I'm gonna show you because I want, I, I love appliques and I want to show you how to make your own appliques using your photoshop if you already have one it's a lot cheaper for me because i already had this since since forever <laughs> so okay i'll show it to you <laughs> right now okay so this one's um i already did this so let's make a new one with um adobe so go ahead and go to new and go to a blank file I already I put my settings on the big big size. It's um 12 inches in width and height is 8 inches and go, click okay. Then I use the text part insert it and let let's say I'll I'll put um my name I'm Diane. Yeah. I'm Diane. I didn't mention it in the first place. Oops, sorry, someone's calling. Okay, that was just somebody. Just an annoying person. Okay. <laughs> so, um, I'm gonna change the color using this. Highlight it and click this part. Okay, and I'm gonna use a darker one. How about this blue instead of the yellow one? Okay, that's better. So... When you, I can choose any design I want because I know my Adobe already. So if I want the uh, this, let's say, yeah, that one I don't want. I don't like that. I want a bolder one. So yeah, you, all you have to do is look for the design you want. There, I I like that. Look for the design you like. And if you're already satisfied, just go ahead and go to File, Save, and make sure oh, you look for the folder you want. I want it on the folder I want already. It's a Singer Digitized folder that I made. Um, I'm going to name it um, Diane. Diane. Okay, Diane. And save it as um, JPEG and go ahead and save click OK and you're all done with Adobe so back to my Singer Futura software I'm gonna open a new design so it's in the big hoop so I'm alright and go to the auto punch and click next go to it says here that i need to choose the image to create embroidery so i'm gonna select i'm already i saved it in my singer digitized and it's already there so mine is diane there you go so click that and click ok next that's that's just for cropping Okay, I'll crop it closer to my name. And next, 
and it says the size is 27 centimeters okay next um, I just go next um, I don't know what this is for but I usually put it here I don't know what's the difference I'm gonna check and see what what that what's the difference next time okay and click next Okay, now it's gonna make you choose which ones you want to keep. I don't want to keep this white ones So remove Click and then remove and remove just so my Just so these are the ones that are gonna be left behind so Go ahead and click next And I do a column I don't know if this matters too. So I think column is um, the embroidery that's um, kind of elevated and then the fill is not. I'm not sure. Don't trust me. <laughs> I don't want to be coded with that. Okay, and it says, okay, and just finish. Oh, okay, so there's my design. The hoop is too... Oh, the design is too big. Okay. So there you go. So that's my design. Now, what we're gonna do... Um, I wanna make it an applique. So um, go ahead and go here to this button. I'm not sure what it's called. I forgot. Okay. So, and click the letter. And right click. And then go to embroidery settings. Oh, there. So there. Now go to stitch type. Go down to applique. Um, this one's the first hold. Hold down line is like the outline. Um, I I what when I do my applique, I let it do the first hold down line so I can so I know where to like put my fabric and then the second hold holds down my fabric and then I cut the sides um, yeah sorry if you don't get me I'm just too excited to show it to you so click this and go ahead and hit apply there you go Um, if you want these parts thicker, you can always change it through here with the width. Um, I want it thinner, so I want it. I, I'll change it to 15, and look what happens when I click the apply part. Did it go? I don't know. I, I didn't see. Okay, so that's how you do the applique from. Um, your Adobe because if you're just going to use the um, the hyper font for it it's not going to do that it, you need to auto punch it it's, it's, it's got to come from somewhere else um, I know that some of the videos at, um, in YouTube they show how to make an applique using their um, circuit but oh, circuit that's another thing so it's going to be more expensive I don't want embroidery to be expensive so that's one of the tips <laughs> okay so I hope you like this video and if any time um, I do get to discover things I will definitely 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 share it to you and I hope you enjoy okay thank you so much um, if you have any comments please comment down below if you have any questions comment it down below too thank you bye